Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am at Google I.O. and today I had the opportunity to check out a couple of new developments in Android Auto. Uh, one of them is actually experiencing the Android Auto ecosystem as far as basically having the Assistant built in. So they're actually trying to make the Assistant a little bit more prominent in front of us in Android Auto. But not only that, the ability of actually having a new refresh UI coming in later this summer for Android Auto the way we have it normally in our cars. Last but not least is actually an interface that where it gets us the ability of using Android Auto in an actual car without ever having to connect our phone, meaning Android is actually the operating system of that car. This is TK, let's check it out. One of the main things that they're talking about as far as the assistant is actually something new where it enables us to actually interact with the assistant, not at the top right button where we usually have that little microphone button where we're used to. We're actually going to be able to interact with it actually on the bottom part of your screen. So where you normally have your uh, basically uh, alternate route options is basically where the assistant will be present and it will be present as more of a prominent presence. So when you ask your device to actually start navigating, it'll be present there, uh, interacting with it, responding to messages, uh, talking to it, continually talking to it and asking questions will be present there and as far as we see right now it's going to be coming out later in the year but the actual UI looks very promising although very limited in features at this point. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the refresh of the Android Auto ecosystem. Overall uh, the experience itself is still very familiar with basically an update directly pushed to your phone nothing needed to be done on the car you'll have the ability of getting the new UI and a little bit more intuitive and the way the best way I can actually describe it is it feels a little bit more like Android than it is like Android Auto. Uh, the UI and the player plays at the bottom uh, music is there you can change different applications by actually going into an app drawer you can dismiss notification from a notification panel so a little bit more uh, I've actually streamlined as far as what you're getting with it but I really definitely like the dark UI the integration with uh, Google Assistant actions into it and then of course that this is going to be easily updated to any device that's running Android Auto right now so really cool coming out later, later this summer which is pretty much the theme here uh, but definitely a very nice revamp look as what we normally have with Android Auto now the last thing I want to talk to you guys about today is basically Android Auto ish more of an Android operating system really uh, into your car that was running inside of the actual car that we had an opportunity to see there it was an electric car and we, I went an opportunity well I had an opportunity to go through a demo in that car and the UI overall looks very very promising uh, but essentially it's an entire Android ecosystem that's integrated into the car so you're talking about basically integrating into basically knowing the fact that you know if you do Google Maps and let's say I want to go to you know Fremont or so on the car knows that this is an electric car and it tells you the projected battery remaining battery on the actual car by the time you get to your destination so it's definitely very unique and very intuitive uh, it does not require you to connect your phone to the car but it does require internet access for certain services like Spotify music and so on uh, as well as Google Maps I did ask if there was going to be any kind of local storage built in for maps so that we don't have any internet issues and they said that so obviously this is still in development it's not available the car is not intended to come out till 2020 so that's something you want to keep in mind but it's definitely very exciting to see this level of integration with Android Auto definitely one of my favorite UIs as far as uh, basically ecosystem to use in a car. I always use it in my car and I can't wait to see it in more cars. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.